welcome back everybody so guys we've talked about the HTML a lot more we just learned CSS and many more things but right now what I'm just gonna teach you I'm going to the master project and basically I'm just gonna create a file in the HTML5 so let's just make it I'm just going to the um, the master project and there is the HTML5 and I'm just creating the file named index.html and there is index.html file so what I'm just gonna do first of all you know that this is the actual HTML5 version so doc type HTML which is necessary and you know that this is a version we've learned about the versions already so guys what more I need to talk I just need to create the HTML main tag basically the main HTML syntax we'll talk about the HTML5 a little bit so right now in this class we're just going to the um, going, gonna start working in the HTML five all these things are basic but I'll just talk you the basic changes in the HTML5 in this class so this is a title and uh, what more I need I, I'm just putting the learn HTML5 pretty awesome the body cover this one and go inside the body and then what I'm just putting to create a web page you know what what is required first of all you have to create the container then you have to create what do you have to create um, the header the navigation the body and the footer and sorry no, navigation after the navigation there is no body there is the main tag or you can say the middle tag and in that tag you can put the sidebar or the left bar okay and the side area can be your menu area or sub menu area or the left area can be your menu area or you know, see I, I think you got what I'm just telling but if you're just working in the HTML5 so HTML5 has some semantic tags what are the semantic tags I'm just gonna guide you about them for example if you just want to put there the container so let's just simply put the container ID container now go inside and there inside the container what you have so actually first of all you need to create the header so now how we create the header we just learned in a previous project in the HTML in the simple HTML we just create the header by putting the ID in this way header okay that's awesome but in the HTML file we just don't do in this way directly call the header tag okay header so now what what the mean of the header and it the header tag has some specific things not at all this is as simple as the div is okay it means it has no specific uh, uh, any special feature any special styling or something this is just a semantic tag okay just for naming um, that we, we are talking about the header just like that here by using the old HTML way we have to call the div and inside the div we use the class or the ID for calling the header but the problem is that sometimes people call it the heading sometimes people call it the head or EDC okay this can be confusing how it can be confusing for example you're just leaving the project you just created a project and now you just want to leave the project for example your boss is giving your project to any other developer or you're just leaving the company so what will happen for example you just give your codes to any new developer so how he the new developer can understand the thing this is the problem that uh, the code uh, that basically we just put in the ID and you know that we can put any value in the ID so it's upon you that what you are you calling for the header for example you can type only the H main or the main H for example I'm just teaching you a thing main H what the mean of the main H basically the main header for example you just put it a lot of headers in your website so you can say the main header or you can say div1 even the div1 2 this is a div1 and for the navigation you can call that div2 that is the issue that a new person cannot understand the div1 what is the div1 he has to read all these things what is inside the codes and edc blah 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 the solution is just directly put the header tag the HTML5 way now you just cannot edit it because this is a tag name which is actually created by the w3c you cannot edit it and now whatever you put inside the header 
exactly the header so guys what I'm just going to do more here I'm just uh, simply saving it I'm just creating a simple layout here in this class okay I'm not actually uh, creating a project I'm just simply creating uh, I'm sorry I'm just simply creating a layout using the semantic tags okay so press enter and now that is perfect basically I'm doing one more thing I'm just opening the previous uh, project I'm going to this uh, master project and there is the index page so I'm just opening this index edit with notepad plus plus now the first was the header if I just open this index page in the browser so let's just go to the browser and check this out okay this is the header this is the navigation and this is the middle area so now the header instead of the header we just put it the header after the header there is a navigation area so for the navigation area what is it here just directly put the NAV okay not put the navigation complete this is the only nav as I just put it the only nav here that is super perfect now in inside this nav again this is the simple semantic tag you can put the ul the allies inside the navigation this is just for guiding your new assistant or basically your new worker or what you what, what I should say the new developer of the website basically so what is it after the navigation after the navigation there is a middle area so for the middle area you can call it the main okay the main awesome main main is also a tag okay now press enter and after the middle area there is a lot of things inside the middle area I'm not gonna talk about them but after the middle area what is it just the footer so go there and exactly for the footer the HTML5 has interesting thing the footer awesome I'm just going inside the main main area because you know that there is a lot of things inside the main area um, first of all the left area or the right area so for this solution what we can do for the here yeah, I'm just going to the main area and for the left area and for the right area for the right area basically now the thing is we have to decide the sidebar in the section area okay so what is the mean of the sidebar the sidebar is simply just like where you're creating the sidebar in this website the sidebar is on the right side you can create the sidebar on the left side too whatever you prefer so we are just calling here the left or the right area just for your readability but in the HTML5 we just don't say this left or right we just say the sidebar or the section or whatever so the area which is like the sidebar this is the sidebar it should be the section uh, the aside tag okay a s i d e aside tag in the aside tag you just create the sidebar area which is not necessary you can create multiple sections and here we are just creating the section first okay the left area is the section here and the right area is the aside tag this is the right area pretty awesome the right area is on the second number so we just created the aside area aside tag on the second number so now we just created the section now you can create multiple sections in a website again interesting thing this for example you can create two sections instead of this instead of the aside area you can create two sections you can create the section uh, a lot more so the solution is we have to use the ID for now okay but the thing is clearing that we're just talking about a section of a website what is the meaning of the section simply a section inside a website any section it can be this you can create a section inside the header you can create a section inside the uh, main area but most uh, in most of the scenes we just create a section in the main area and we can create the section in the footer or a side tag too awesome I'm not gonna create the ID for now because we just don't need to create any other section but you know that there are some posts inside the section area you can see that the health is well okay all these posts are same but what we did here in the HTML uh, index to HTML there are the if I just go to the section area this is the section area in the HTML5 so the post tag is this okay we use the div for the post tag so what I'm just gonna call there instead of the div what we can call we can call the article tag article tag okay article tag this is the HTML5's 
associated tag official tag basically this is not necessary to put the this is not necessary to create the art uh, put the article inside the article tag an article it basically can be an independent area in the website okay for example we can create the post anywhere basically the post is not connected to the layout to the layer layout of the website so we can we can call this an article in the html5 language this is not necessary to you to just think that we are just putting the article the newspaper's article or any other type of articles here or the text you can create any area which you're just considering as the independent area means an article can have everything of it inside so if i just go to the go to the browser you know that uh, this is the article tag this is the post id right now in the uh, in the html if you see this is the post uh, the class sorry the class of post but basically what 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 i was just talking that there is a issue or there is the you know that the content here the content description the content's title or any other thing if you just put about the title uh, about the content which we just put it inside the post must be inside the post this is the general rule so that's why it is the article tag so i think you've just got what the what i'm just telling about the article tag so guys this is the basic html semantic tags which can make our html document more readable and more easy even you just don't need to use the comments in this way when you're just clearing all these things by using the tags okay but you should use the comments still because in some projects you actually need the comments by the way something more I just want to clear you that for example a section needs a header so you can create a section you can create a header inside the section too header okay now how to define that I'm just talking about the sections header you can see even that uh, this section has a uh, it's uh, only one and two and three tabs and this section has one two three four five five tabs and actually it's uh, it has a, a tab more or six spaces more than the section section starting tag so exactly this is the uh, this is the header which is inside the section and in the HTML or oh, sorry in the CSS you can call it by the selector for example you can call the uh, in the CSS that select the header which is in the section you know that how to do that just simple that that first call the section then it add in space and then type the header name uh, sorry hit the, the header um, and then the curly braces then it will affect only on this header which is which will be inside the section but the other thing is you can put the class or IDs too okay this is a simple way to do that all these things I do not think that it's uh, it's hard to understand in fact this is really simple and really easy to do and to work on it so spelling should be small but HTML5 is not case sensitive you can use the capital or small letters whatever you want it's the specialty of HTML5 that it's uh, not as strict and by the way we will continue to make this project we will continue to complete this project we will only create the basic layout for the for the website which actually we need to learn in HTML5 and then we'll just move on to the forms and the interesting thing is you know the, in the HTML5 is uh, the multimedia so guys leave me stay tuned goodbye tata -ta.